Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha. This is the Budget Woman UK. Today's video, I'm doing my week two cash stuffing and budgeting for December. It's the like the, the last run up before we break up for the half term. So it's busy work wise. I've got a few things coming up in terms of events. We're, we were getting ready for Holly's birthday. That's been a bit of a, a disaster. And I would like you to tell me I'm having a crumble about this or whether I should just suck it up and get on. I'll explain more when I get into the video. Um, and then, yeah, that, that's it, eight, really, before we hit the big sort of party week. My school and the schools in my area break up really quite early on Friday the 16th. So it gives us quite a bit of time before the actual Christmas day to get things done. And that's probably going to be the spendier week. Um, I'd like to do a few trips here and there. We'll see. We'll see how that uh, works out for us. Right. <laughs> Let's take a look. You're my journey now. My love of journey. At night we light the sky. Right. So we're going to do our week two cash stuffing for December. Now, first of all, before... I decide when one's going to go. I always have a little look through the week ahead. And today is Sunday. So we're going to have a look of where one's going to go from today. I've literally got nothing else booked in at the moment apart from Mum's do, which is at her house. So I'm going to do that. Thursday evening, I've got, um, I'm working late, taking the children to a carol service. I won't be doing anything there. And then we've got the weekend. Um, it's a funny weekend. I don't know how I'm feeling about it because I planned on doing something with Holly. And no. So basically, I planned on going away for a few days. But um, yeah, Holly's dad has decided, I've heard through the grapevine, not actually spoke to me, that he's back. He's been away abroad since sort of April time, I think. Barely heard of him usual not sent any money for a long long time um but he's planning on being around and holly has got wind of this and wants to see him so our birthday plans are out the window because i would be the bad person if i tried to stop that so he gets to be the hero i suppose <laughs> anyway yeah alexander's got a birthday party he's been invited to anyway so it means he can go to this now on um his friend, I can't remember the child's name, it's on my main calendar at home, and that's in the afternoon, so at least he's going to be able to do that. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm just thinking, I'm just, just making me think aloud. So, what I've said to Holly is that we might, I might go ice skating at the Trapper Centre, they've got a nice ice rink and winter wonderland, and then Alexander can go to the Legoland or the sea life with the Merlin Pass, so we might go and do that and have dinner there. She's been going on about ice skating for a while, so so she wants to take a friend to do that. Um, yeah, and then I must remember I've got my nails down here. I think they're at like ten a.m. or something like that. So I know that's not next week, but I'm just thinking while it's in in my head, fresh. That's that's it really. So. The week ahead, yeah, that's what we've got coming up. I don't think it's going to be a spendy week. So let's see where I'm going to put my money. I've emptied my Christmas envelope. I've not put that on my uh, checking in when I did that the other day. Um, I think I need to check through my Christmas present wardrobe cupboard thing and everything else. I'm going to make a video on that. I'll try and get that done over the next few days. So I see where I'm up to. I'm pretty sure I've got everything I want to get. Um, I need Christmas dinner. I should be able to do that for about £20. Unless I get alcohol as well. So I'll just see what's there. I will put some extras in there just in case I've forgotten anything. And then anything that's left over from Christmas, I can either use it, which is what I like to do, is like buy loads of stuff in the sales. Like uh, gift sets or aftershaves, perfumes and things like that. Or I'll just put it in towards my debt. So I will put a bit more into that just in case. So let's have a look at what I've got. So I've got 2.30 because I've already calculated. I started writing it in there, sorry. Uh, 2.30, I've already worked out. So let's grab the cash and count that. 
Okay, so we've got 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 80, 180, oops, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 230. We've got, so I think it's this one that's empty and this one is a bit empty as well. So we'll put 10 in each of these anyway. Eating out, I'm gonna put 30 in there because it's empty. 20 in there. Petrol, so I've got 20 in it, but I'm gonna go with 30 whilst well. so I've got it. Groceries, I've got quite a bit in there because I want to do a big shop, but like, would you take your Christmas meal I food out of your grocery envelope or like out of a separate Christmas envelope. I'm gonna go for a separate Christmas envelope I think. But what would you do? Let me know. Uh 20 into groceries just because it's already got quite a lot in there. And time for making that 20 as well, which is there we go. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 140, which leaves me with 90 left over. Um looking at these it's just because it's Christmas, they've sort of like, been left to one side. I am planning on sorting out my January sinking funds and everything else coming forward. Um, but for now, they've just sort of been left to one side. As as my debt, to be honest, I need to count up my debt for this month. That's my next job after this video to see where I've got. Should I put 90 in the Christmas just in case? Hmm. Let's do... Do you know what? I feel like I should put some into my car because <laughs> I've not done anything I'll have nothing coming up I'm like I've got MOT yeah I'm going to leave no I'm going to leave these let's put 90 into Christmas just in case because after Christmas whatever's in there it doesn't matter it's going to get moved somewhere else and more sensible so let's do that And that is it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a really good day. I hope you're well with the budget or working towards your budget. Or if you're thinking about starting budgeting, especially for the new year, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up like icon because it really helps the algorithm and then click that bell notification because honestly, it makes such a difference to the channel. Of course, if you're already doing those things, if you're already subscribed and everything else, then thank you so much. I do so appreciate it. You're an amazing legend. Thank you. Have a fantastic day and I will see you really soon. Bye.